Hi and welcome back to the video series VRY 7.3. Today we're going to talk about component profiles and locations. So we're going to do old school. It's an XML edit to define the C locations. And then we're going to create a couple of image profiles for center 6 and 7. And then some size profiles where we can select small, medium, large. Here you can see it's essentially a server 2016. You can select site A, site B, and off it goes. And then we have a site-specific request where you can select center 6 or 7 and their respective sizes, and off it goes. So that is using component profiles. Let's jump right into it. So here you can see I have um, in both site A and site B the same templates, obviously with the prefix A and B to distinguish it, and I have a server 2016 clone which I have in both sites and they are identical to 2016 as used for the old school way and here you can see I have the customization specs as well you will see when we need them so to do the XML edits so you have on the web servers IS web 1 and 2 in my case these two are load balanced an XML file under Program Files, x86, VMware, VCAC, Server, Website, and then XML Data. We have a file called Data Center Locations. So we're just going to edit this one. This is the name which shows later in VRA. So we call Site A, Site B. The description really is just for the XML file. It doesn't show up anywhere, but we're going to make it right. And site B, I'm going to save it. That's it. And we do the same on the second web server. So program files, XXL, VMware, VSC, so website, XML data, and edit that one as well. Again, needs to be identical because we obviously have those two servers load balanced. So we have side A, side B, and side A data center, and side B data center. And save it. Next, we need to restart the management service. And in my environment, it's IS Mano 1 and IS Mano 2. So you can see here, um, under services on IS Mano 1 and 2. And we're going to restart the VMware vCloud Automation Center service. You can see it's the manager service, really. So I'm going to restart that one. I'll do it on the second node first. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. And just do it on the first one as well. That will essentially pull these locations back into VRA. So what are we going to do with it? So first of all, let's look back in. We need to assign those site locations with our compute resources. So let's look in as a fabric admin. That's right, so let's go into infrastructure and then we go to compute resources, compute resources. And site A and site B, edit that. And here you can see we can define the location. That's the name of the part in the XML file, site A. Again, that's why it needs to be identical on both of them because the load balance, we never know onto which web server we actually need to. Edit site B, enter the location. And okay, so why do we do this? Why, what's the point? In order to show you, I'm just gonna open up a quick um, blueprint. So I'm not going to do the blueprint from bottom to uh, from top to bottom because that's a different video. But I'm just going to show you why we do this. So we're just going to hit VRA again with the cognitive tab so we can look in as a catalog admin as well. So it's catalog admin. Da -da -da -da. And create a new blueprint. Design blueprints new random name and here we can see display location request so it would display a drop down 
for the requester. So component services, uh, as I said, we, we are going to show that later on when we talk about the blueprints, what it actually looks like. But now component profiles, that is essentially the new bit in VRA 7.3. So I'm going to show you around some component profiles. Here you can specify images. So we can't really do anything here. So we create value sets. A value set is essentially that it's different images or different, um, the different blueprints. So I'm just going to give it a name. Site A, Center 6, Linked Clone, A Link Clone, Snapshot, and I'm just going to add the custom spec, as I said, I've showed it earlier. That's that one. Revision workflow, save and save. So the difference being here, I'm just going to do the other. So we have to add um, all four. And I'm going to show again on an example blueprint what it should look like. But here, I'm just going to do site A, center 7, and then site B, center 6. Site B, Center 7. So the, so the main difference here would be essentially that we have one blueprint where you can select a site, but the one blueprint is linked to a particular template. And in this case, you have one blueprint which isn't linked to a particular template, but you have a selection of templates. But it doesn't give you the option to select the site, if that makes sense. So that's why I'm going to show both possibilities. So the first, the old school XML version, gives you the option to have a site, but unfortunately not, not an image. And component profiles the other way around. You don't have a selection of site, but you have a selection of different, well, of different uh, templates. As you can see, I'm using linked clones, so they're not marked as a template in vSphere, but they're actually VMs with a snapshot and the snapshot is then used for the, to create a link. Not the link cloned. So custom spec again, provision workflow, and that's basically it for the images. So when we use this, we have the option of four images. Why four? Again, I'm going to show that in a blueprint in a minute. So in terms of sizes, you can see we have one CPU, one gig of RAM, 16 gig of storage, and that's across the board. So that's going to be our default, our small size. We can't go lower than that, so that's the minimum we have. So I'm going to call that, whoops, that was a bit weird. So I'm going to call that small. Uh, one CPU, as I say, one gig of RAM and 60 gig of storage. I'm going to save that, save that. Now we're going to go for a medium. So let's do medium. Let's just random two CPUs and maybe two gig of RAM. I'll leave the storage as is. I'm really only interested in CPU and memory. So that's our medium. Suppose we could do another large one. So let's do large. Let's make it four CPUs and leave it at four gig of RAM. And again, 16 gig of storage. And that should be it really. I mean, we only need these three for testing. Uh, yeah, let's just leave that. No point in doing more than that really. Okay, so we have now component profiles for image and size. Uh, and once more, what's the point? How do you configure it? So we're going back into VRA using our catalog admin. Catalog admin. And I'm just going to show a quick blueprint again to see pretty much what is the point. So you're not using the data center locations. As I said, um, this way you can't use, so you would, for example, say site A centers. 
So if I, my mouse would work. So if I just want to use a blueprint to be named Site A Centos, I go down to Profiles, Add a Profile, and I want to select all those two, both sites and image. Both of these will present a drop down menu, but again, you will see that. And I'm going to allow here Site A, Site B, and I'm going to make Centos 7 the default. And the same for the size. I'm going to allow all the sizes, small, medium, large, but I'm going to make small the default. OK. Save and finish. So that would be. That would be pretty much how you would use the component profiles as opposed to um, site and XML files. So it's what swings and roundabouts, depends how you want to do that. But in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the catalog, how to do the blueprints, and how to do the entitlements. And the blueprints, we're going to do both versions. See you then.